These plates changed my life. But let's not be dramatic. I know a pair of plates can't make you a better skater, but the quality and the weight of the plates can make a huge difference. I did break these plates once, so you might be wondering why would I buy the same plates again? Unfortunately, it was a mistake on my end, and I'm going to tell you at the end of this video what not to do so you can keep your plates intact. Hi, my name is Preggy if you're new here, and today we're going to go over why you should buy the Sunlight Plates. First off, Sunlight Plates are fun. They come in 11 different colors, so you can always find one that fits for you. Next up, Sunlight Plates are less than $100. I bought mine for $90 from Roller Skate Nation, and compared to most other plates that are out on the market right now, that's relatively cheap. And if you're someone like me who skates pretty often and are worried about breaking your plates, especially since they're plastic and they're not metal like most other plates, these plates come with a lifetime warranty. So if you break these plates when you're using them correctly, they come with a lifetime warranty and you have that covered. So if you're looking for plates that are great for the trail and the skate park, I highly recommend these plates. The hardware has the feel of Avanti plates. I have never skated with any other plates outside of Avanti plates. However, the weight of Avanti plates is not there, so it's easy for you to do jumps with these plates. As for sizing, if you're not sure which size you should buy, you can always go on a roller skate thread, and I'll link that down below. Put down the make of your boot and the size of your boot, and I'm sure there will be someone else on that thread that can help you out. Another option is to call a local roller skate shop and ask them what size you should buy and they're typically pretty helpful. I bought my first plate from Sun City Skates and I actually asked them for my sizing so I knew exactly what plates to buy when buying them from Roller Skate Nation. I'll link down both those options down below. A reason to go with Roller Skate Nation over a local shop is mainly because you get one free exchange. Compared to buying from a local roller skate shop, you have to pay the fee to exchange the skates. Once again, I'll be linking everything down below. The roller skate thread will be linked down below. The Sun City Skates, which is where I typically buy all of my skate gear, will also be linked down below. And the Roller Skate Nation link will be down below. I did buy these plates from Roller Skate Nation the second time, mainly because Sun City Skates did not have my size the second time. For reference, I am a size 7 in Moxie Lollies, and my plates are a size 4. If you're switching from one pair of plates to another, keep in mind that the holes might not match up. So for example, when I switched from Avanti plates to these plates, I kept the back two holes and filled in the front two holes on my boot, and then I drilled two new holes for my sunlight plates. I'll put another link down below for whenever you want to re-drill holes in your plates or in your boots, and I'm not someone who made that video. This is another YouTuber. It was a great reference for me to kind of figure out how to do it myself. Um, I didn't watch the video verbatim, but I did skim through it and I was able to get the gist of the video. For refilling the holes, I used wood filler, so if you're trying to figure out what product to put in your previous holes, wood filler is a great substitute. Okay, so the moment everyone's been waiting for, what did I do to break my plates? So if you see right here, my toe stop went all the way through to my plate, and once it went all the way through, for some reason I couldn't get it out. This is a pretty common problem for people who don't put the nut in between the toe stop and the plate. And whenever I tried twisting it, it physically does not come out. I took it to Home Depot, I tried drilling it out, literally it could not come out. And since I did not use this product correctly, I do not have a lifetime warranty on this. So keep in mind that if you buy these plates, you want to put the nut on the toe stop before putting it into the plate, just so that way it doesn't go all the way through. This will make sure that your lifetime warranty is intact. Hopefully by now I was able to convince you on why you should buy the Sunlight Plates. I'm not affiliated by Sin City Skates, Sunlight Plates, Roller Skate Nation, or literally anyone. I just really like the quality and the weight of these plates. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and hope to see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye. Done!